Hey guys, Jesse back again here. I uh, just want to do an action figure review today. Today I've got FN2187 from the 6 inch Black Series line. Haven't reviewed this one yet and I'm excited to do so. So let's get straight into it. Sit back and enjoy guys. See you shortly. Alright guys, here we are with FN2187, also known later in the film as Finn, in his Stormtrooper gear. Um, this is a really cool figure, it's a, it's a slight retool of the regular First Order Stormtrooper. And uh, obviously so you could put Finn's, Finn's head on underneath, um, which is cool, so I'll show that in a minute. First of all, comes with the standard F11D blaster. Um, all the First Order Stormtroopers have come with this. The snow troopers have come with, with, with the ones with the stock on the back. I can't remember the name of them off the top of my head. But all the regular First Order Stormtroopers have come with this one. And this one, which I can't remember the name of off the top of my head either. So, um, still still learning all these things, which is cool. Um, but that's just the regular small pistol. So, um, And they both attach, again, like the First Order Stormtrooper, to the leg there. The pistol seems to be a little bit loose, but... Um, I think this one holds reasonably well. So just sort of clip on there, which is really cool. I really like that. That's one of my favourite parts of the new First Order Stormtrooper armour. But yeah, apart from that, um, got the sort of bloody hand prints on his uh, helmet. It just looks pretty good. It's really clean figure. Um, I've spoken with uh, Fallen Jedi about this over Instagram talking about weathering this guy up a bit and um, I'm, th I'm thinking I'm going to um, just weather him up a little bit and dirty him up because after that battle he is quite his armor's really dirty and you see him when he walks into the uh, carrier um, to take his helmet off his uh, armor's really really dirty I may look at doing that today actually just give me something to do um, but otherwise, it's a really nice looking figure. I really, I'm really impressed with the, uh, um, again, with the First Order Stormtrooper design. I think it looks really good. And the red marks look really good. They could use a little bit of blurring just to sort of mess it up a little bit because it looks really clean, but you know, a bit of weathering will sort that out. But like I said, just this upper torso is, uh, is, is a slight retool so we can um, pop the helmet off and put Finn's head on. Which again looks really good. I believe it's, I'd, I'd say it's the same head sculpt that they used on the regular fin. I haven't sort of put them side by side to compare. But this time they've given him these really orange eyes. I'm not sure if you can see that. There you go, you should be able to see that now. Yeah, he's got these really strange orange eyes, which I'm not a big fan of. I think it looked fine just the way it was on the regular fin figure. But, um,. Overall, it's really nice head sculpt, um, really nicely done. So it's pretty good. Again, nice and clean. So I'm going to dirty this guy up a bit, I reckon, and make him look a bit more screen accurate. I think that would look great. Articulation: He's got the ball jointed head with the hinge on the neck. That you can just sort of see in there. So you get a little bit of up and down motion. It actually gives a lot of up and down motion, which is really good. Bulking shoulders, which is nice because the armor actually gets underneath the uh, shoulder strap there. So you get a good range of movement. It's got the single swivel at the elbows, uh, the ball hinge at the elbows, ball hinge at the wrist. Nice torso movement there, which is great. Oh, this thing really moves. Ball hinged hips, the swivel at the thighs, double jointed knees again, which is pretty much the standard for these figures, which is awesome. I love it. And the ankles with the rocker, and they move. They've got a little bit of hindrance of the movement with the uh, sort of that ankle plate there, but overall, really, really good. Get him in some really cool dynamic poses. Uh, 
um, yeah, this guy's, if you're in Australia, like I am, this guy's not hard to find, all this, this wave with Django, um, isn't hard to find, Hasbro, Australia accidentally ordered another 500 cases to be distributed nationally, um, or was it 800, I can't remember, one of my local retailers sort of had told me about that, because I pre-ordered the Ahsoka wave, and there was, they told me there was delays, because, Hasbro Australia stuffed up and accidentally ordered Wave 5 instead of Wave 6, so all the stores are absolutely flooded with these figures. Um, I'm talking like Django, Han Solo, Flame Troopers, um, and Finn here, and Phasmas. They're just absolutely flooded everywhere. Um, and they should be flooded with like Ahsoka, Kane, and Luke right now, but they're not, so. It's a bit of a bummer, but I've got Ahsoka and Kanan in the mail, and I think I'm just gonna hold out until Hasbro sorts their shit out and gets the proper proper cases into stores down here. Um, if I, unless I can find Luke online cheap. But uh, I really like this figure. It's nice to see. Nice to see Finn in his Stormtrooper armor. But yeah, I think definitely gonna dirty it up. I can look great. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for some more coming up. I'm going to do, do uh, a bit of a video on all my graphic novels, uh, trade paperbacks from the Star Wars Marvel uh, releases so far. So stay tuned for that. Until next time, guys, may the Force be with you.